so this morning I am going to the floating markets that are going to be about two hours outside of Bangkok. It's pretty early right now. Friends taking us, so I am very excited. So we just arrived to the floating market and what you do is um, the parking lot right here depending on where you park is what boat company you're going with because what you use are these like boats to get to the markets so yeah like really right how cool does that look there's like bananas there's pomelo um, there's all different types of like plants that they're selling as well and um, it's Sunday morning so there's not that I mean there are not that many people yet, but you can definitely see like the tour buses and whatnot. So. Okay, so we just got a boat and I guess the tip here is um, never to really go with that first boat company that you see because the one that was over there, they were charging about 800 bought for uh, basically everybody on the boat ride which is what like 30 bought to the dollar so you guys do the math and then we came in here and um, I think the guy is charging 300 to 400 bought for the ride and then they'll also bring you to like a um, I think it's a palm sugar plantation along the way but you can see that it's like it's definitely I mean it's a touristy place of course but you can also see that there's a lot of food along the way so if you guys are hungry you don't necessarily need to wait until the market but there's a lot of like little restaurants and also like this shopping area in case if you needed to get your elephant pants and you didn't really get it yet so there's all that around so I thought you get in first. Oh, okay. There's a line. Sorry. Sorry. So here we go. So I don't know if you could see that, but like all of these market places, the dealers, they have these hooks where they can, like if somebody's interested in the boat and saying like, hey, I like that picture, they'll actually like hook the boat over, which is pretty cool. It is definitely um, dangerous, like they do say to keep your hands in, otherwise, you know, the, um, if it's too close, you might kind of snap your hands off, so definitely be careful of that. Why don't eat them all? Why don't eat them all? this um, palm sugar store where um, I guess they're boiling down the palm sugar right now and they have like some of the coconuts and the trees and then obviously around is like a gift shop full of everything that they make with that stuff. Cool. It's kind of cool like they can't even like make it by spread out. Yeah. Christina do you want to try? No, okay. Here here don't, don't, don't put stuff like you, you'll be gone. Okay, so there were like a ton of bees around the the vat of um, sugar. Obviously, that's true. So um, now we're going to see where the trees are. So these are the obviously the palm trees. There's coconuts up there too. Oh, okay. So this is how they collect the sap of the tree. I think that they cut it. They cut it. Oh. Oh. You guys can try it too. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, try it. Shimbale. It like, smells really good, he said. <laughs> it's like a lightly sweet liquid. I think it's probably very much similar to like a maple tree where you get the sap and it's a little bit more diluted and then... Oh, that's kind of really cool. So the tour guide just told us that um, basically to get palm sugar, you get the younger coconut trees. So prior to them producing coconuts and then you take the sap from kind of this young 
a coconut tree and then again like versus coconut sugar where it's just uh, from coconut so I'm going uh, in back into the souvenir sap store to see what kinds of um, snacks and stuff I can get made from this palm sugar It's actually a lot more commercial these days just because there's a lot more tourists and I was expecting like a lot of like fruit boats and like vegetables but um, they definitely it was still really really cool but definitely they sold a lot more like touristy things but I did manage to get a bag of my favorite rose apples which uh, is really good so I'm very happy about that. So I actually found that there is a lane with like all of the food stuff on it so it's kind of a cooler so you can get more food shots in case if you guys realize that there's not too much food on your actual tour. Thank you. 